last time I almost got him with it. <laughs> and then let's look at the DeWalt, Makita, and Milwaukee. What are we looking at here? Because now we've gone from outdoor power tools to actual just power tools, or sure. just tools. Should I be concerned when I pull a battery apart and find scotch tape? <laughs> Should that be something that your words, not ours? I mean, this is actual tape. corporate headquarters and we're gonna actually be pulling apart all of these batteries we're gonna be looking inside to see what makes them tick we're gonna be starting right out with the king of the ring the Milwaukee battery we're gonna go down the line from Makita DeWalt Ryobi Greenworks what is this thing steel Toro Cobalt another Greenworks and also Eagle and we're gonna be looking at what each of these guys do differently from the other ones now I am here at Shervon Corporate Headquarters. I'm with Joe. He's one of the original guys that basically started. You right? We were right here when the doors opened at this company. Been right? here a long time. And Corey is actually an engineer for Shervon, and he's going to make sure that we don't say bad things. So, <laughs> so without wasting any more time, let's get right into today's video. Joe, will you walk us through these batteries? What are we looking at? Sure, so um, I think the request was to lift up the hood, yep. see what was inside the car, right? We all look at the car, we, it all looks the same, four wheels, windshields. Yep. We wanted to see kind of what was underneath. And now, um, I've seen what's underneath a Milwaukee battery before. So this is one that okay. I specifically requested that you guys sure. show us because I've also taken the Ego battery dunked it in water and ran a blower with no problems afterward and Wasn't I want and I wanted to find out why I could do that because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense so as we look at these things we've got a Milwaukee and we've exploded it here now this is the just the standard 9 amp hour M18 battery pack not so standard, great battery pack, right? So we've got a lot of great manufacturers here, right? Great brands, um, some premium brands up here that uh, have been in business a long time. And so um, I think there's one thing that you can see, no matter what battery pack you're looking at, Milwaukee, Makita, DeWalt, uh, Ryobi, Greenworks, Steel, um, Toro on down, what you'll find is that they're all similarly shaped, right? It's all, all brick designs. They're all blocks. And uh, you know, the problem with blocks is that they retain heat. And the problem with lithium ion is you don't want heat. You wanna do everything you possibly can to make sure that the battery is operating as cool as possible. And so there's a lot of great science that some of the manufacturers kind of build into their systems to try to make sure that heat is controlled and um, the batteries are able to work even under extreme conditions. Um, there's different science that uh, we all kind of deploy, um, such as three parallel rows of cells, um, which you know we've used in the Ego battery pack and uh, something that we've been doing now for several years um, that we're now starting to see in the power tool industry, which is very, very effective, especially for high amp discharge uh, conditions. Um, but, you know, bricks are bricks, and so what we try to do is something a little bit different. And so you, you have a, you're the only one that doesn't have a, a brick. Yeah, we have a patented arc design. So um, the arc design is a little bit different, right? And the cool thing about arc is that it allows um, every cell inside the battery pack to have exterior exposure so that you have more surface area and easier to cool. The other thing that we... So you just jumped over an important point that I want to make sure that we're, that we're, we're hitting on is that you have no center battery. Uh, no, I mean, in some tools, there might be like the larger battery packs that, you know, have uh, 3P technology, three parallel rows. You might have some interior cells, but you're going to have much more surface area with the uh, arc design, especially on, uh, definitely on 1P, right? You know, for sure on 2P. Um, so a lot of great advantages with the overall arc design. The other thing I think that's pretty unique, actually it's not just pretty unique, it is unique. It's, it's proprietary technology, technology right? right? Nobody else does this? Right, is our phase change material. I mean, first and foremost, you know, we start off like some of the other premium brands. Now, not all premium brands use this cell. This is the Samsung. Samsung is uh, the best battery manufacturer in our industry. Um, they've been doing it uh, for a long time, and um, it's an outstanding cell. But we take this cell... And well, wait we a minute, why don't other companies use this? Though? This is more expensive. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so the fact 
fact is the Samsung Cell is um, uh, really the best in our entire industry today. One of the things that we do to make it better though is we add this, that's the phase change material. This uh, sleeve right here will change its molecular structure as the cell heats up. So what happens? It doesn't heat up, it stays cooler. So because it stays cooler, the tool can keep operating without shutting down. So this little thing right here wicks the heat nope. away from the battery? Nope, this part here it. is the wrap, right? So if you see right here, when we're manufacturing it, this is what happens, if I can do it. Then it gets sealed on, so you can kind of see what it looks like once it's sealed on. Yeah. And so once it's sealed, you know, you don't have any issue with that phase, that phase change material. And what it does is it again wraps that cell, so as it heats up, it helps cool that cell down. So totally unique process, proprietary to Chevron, patented technology that we do on the Ego battery pack. Okay. What are we looking at with this now? That's potted electronics. So, you know, I think one of the cool things about uh, what we're doing is that, you know, we've been doing our own electronics now for, for close to 14 years um, since we first got into the industry in uh, 2006, the lithium industry in 2006. Um, but what's amazing about this battery pack is not only, you know, that it incorporates all the learnings through those 14 years of producing lithium ion tools and, you know, since 2014 producing high end premium outdoor power equipment. Equipment, but we actually take those electronics, we encapsulate it in this plastic edge, and then we pot it with this material. It's like a rubber coating, if you kind of feel that. And the beauty of that is it protects the boards from not just water, okay? Not just uh, dust if you're in an Arizona, or water if you're in a Seattle, but also from vibration. Like, think about this, you know? You might not be the only one using the outdoor power equipment in your house, your kids might be doing it, or you might hire someone on the job, right, that doesn't take care of batteries the way that you would. You drop it, you wanna also make sure that you're protecting against vibration. So this is before. That's before. And this is after. after. Do Correct. other companies use this same potting? We just started seeing it uh, coming out this year. We were the first, right? We've been doing it since the beginning of Ego. Um, we're now starting to see some manufacturers pot their electronics, but nobody else does what we're doing here with the arc design along with the patented phase change. So let's material. look. Sure. These are all the latest versions of these companies' battery systems. Yeah. Right? I don't see potting, but I see this glossy coating. What is that? Well, is I'm that a protection? Yeah, I'm gonna let the smart guy talk about that because Corey knows this better than anyone. Yeah, so this glossy layer, that's a conformal coating. So it's kind of like a level one of protection, whereas potting is more of a level two or three, really. This is mainly gonna protect against moisture and dust a little bit. It's a very thin layer, so it could be more susceptible to cracking over time or something getting in there. Uh, whereas the potting is really a solid layer of rubber that's giving you a lot of protection and not against just moisture, but vibration. And so this, this is actually poured on. Yes. Oh yeah. So this is actually like all liquid that's poured into, there's a tray here, mm -hmm. and that tray is actually designed to fill up to yep. hold it on. This is more of like a Spray on type yeah, of Yeah, this is like thing. sprayed on and then UV cured, whereas this is dispensed and it's gonna kind of sit there and cure over time and harden. Okay, I see brick, 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 brick. I don't see any other changes in design. So these guys, if I'm understanding this technology right, then their batteries on the outside are doing okay, but the batteries on the inside, they're not, they don't have your special whatever this thing is called, phase <laughs> change technology. Yeah. And so that these batteries can be suffering from heat degradation yep. over the course of the yeah, long term. Yeah, with lithium right? cells, the, the temperature is really critical. If these get too hot, they can, that can start to degrade their lifetime. And also if they're too cold, that can be bad for them. But mainly when they heat up, obviously when you're using them, you're pulling a lot of current and they're heating up. So think of it like the weakest link of the Achilles heel. The one that gets the hottest is the one that's gonna die first. And that's gonna limit the lifetime of your whole pack. So even though the other cells were doing okay, the weakest link is what hurts you. So we try to protect every cell so that the whole pack can last. So as we look at this too, there's you guys are probably gonna pick this up in the video. We look at the cobalt, we look at the green works. I mean, these are basically almost identical battery packs. The wiring coloring is the same. The amount of cells are the same. There's probably just, you were saying that, that there's a difference in the cells. It looks like cobalt. Is this the cobalt one, yep. Joe? Yeah, cobalt's using Samsung. So they are using Samsung in the cobalt. What is these, what is this Greenworks one 
using Greenworks is using Murata, I want to say. Okay. So it's to lower it. So it's just not quite less expensive. Less expensive. So now this is literally by Toro. This is their newest battery. Just was released probably what, within the last month or two. I don't know. Just recently released. Let's yeah, just put it last way. year. Okay. Um, I still see a brick, but I do see potting in this case. Yep. Is this the same level of protection as in an Eagle for the potting? Yeah, it's going to give you a similar level of protection. So this is one. Circuit. So this is say I, say I can see that dish, the tray in it, but then they've skipped out on the brick design and they've kind of they yeah. don't they haven't done that. And yeah, then yeah. they're lacking the face change touch. Exactly. Yeah, it's a whole system. All the parts need to be working well together, and whatever is your weakest link, the thing that fails first, that's what's going to matter most when you're years out and you've had this battery five, ten years. Should I be concerned when I pull a battery apart? and find scotch tape. <laughs> Should that be something that... Your words, not ours. I mean, this is actual tape that they have in here. That's, Here's the big. Okay, so this steel. is the, this is the steel battery. The circuit board is in here and we can't get at it, so would it be safe to guess that they've used something like this or would they have used something like this, you think? Because we can't pull it apart. Yeah, probably more of a potting encapsulation. They've, they've kind of done it as a final step that makes it inseparable, so that you'd have to ding them a little bit on, on repairability there. Oh, and okay. Switch out the circuit. Okay, and then we've got the same brick technology, so all these cells in the battery are going to be suffering or having the, right. the, the hardest They're time. They're all stuck together. Greenworks again, same brick design. Now Ryobi has laid their batteries on F. <laughs> right? Is there any advantage to this design? I still see interior batteries. Yeah, I mean, it's still the same typical brick configuration, right? What about the coating? Is this the same? Level one. Level right. one, okay. And then let's look at the DeWalt, Makita, and Milwaukee. What are we looking at here? Because now we've gone from outdoor power tools to actual just power tools, or sure. just tools. I mean, first and foremost, there are some differences between the DeWalt Milwaukee and the Makita. I mean, the Makita is a 2P, and when I say 2P, I'm talking about two parallel rows of cells versus what you see right here, three parallel rows of cells. So with the two, you're not going to get exterior cell. I'm sorry, interior cells. So, um, you know, okay, but it's not necessarily apples to apples. But in the Milwaukee smaller battery, they get, they're going to have a 2P then. Right, so you'll right? see the same thing, okay, right? Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, when you get uh, to these uh, bigger units, what you'll see, though, is just just again, the similar kind of uh, the typical uh, brick design, and you know, from a protection core, you're probably best to comment on that, which you see right there on the boards. Yeah, yeah. with Milwaukee, we've got another conformal coating, so kind of the basic level of protection. Uh, Makita and DeWalt, they've used uh, more of a potting, it's kind of rubbery and just a little bit thicker. Okay, let's, let's talk about something that you guys haven't mentioned yet, and that's the actual casing. So now, here's one of the cases from one of the other power tools, and this is basically plastic. Yeah. Now, when we look at the Eagle, this is called, what, an over-mold? Yeah, it's an over-mold, right. So, you know, it's like a rubber pin. So the benefit, right, is not only when the consumer, when the user is holding it, they get a little more grip, but really the idea is when you drop it, it's got a nice, you know, uh, it gives you an added measure of protection. So what is this, then? Is this, like, any... Typical plastic, right? And um, you're just not gonna get extra protection in case this thing falls. So this actually slides in there something you like that. Work on the assembly line. And that's literally the level of protection between the battery and we'll just do that that's right in there. Good. So any last things that we need to know about these things before we wrap this one up? Look, there's so many different things that make one product perform better than another, right? Um, and the system is really probably the most critical component. I think that one thing that makes the Ego special and Shravan in general is that, you know, we've been in the business, uh, the lithium, you know, segment as long as anyone, right? Uh, maybe six months, you know, shorter than some of these guys. But at the same time, um, we've done all of it in-house. And so we've learned along the way. Um, you know, multiple generations of lithium ion. Every time we produced a power tool, we learned, you know, uh, and tried to figure out how we could make our system better. So I think that the special thing about it is, from a software management perspective, you know, from a design perspective, we do so many different things that are gonna ensure when you buy one of these products, 
next, they just last. Because the last thing somebody wants to do is they want to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on a tool and not have it run. You know, small things that you don't necessarily realize until after you use the tool. It's like in software management, right? Lithium batteries are not designed for use at low temperatures. We've done so many different things to keep these battery packs alive. So when you're using a snowblower in negative 20 degree weather, I mean, you're able to operate this. When we went to Antarctica with the Ego snowblower, it was a simple 1P battery. And that 1P battery was operating, I think, negative 30, negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was still blowing snow. So little things that you can do when you learn along the way and you do it all in-house. And so big advantages. All right. So the next, guys, I want to put, I want to see if Joe was up for this. You guys tell me if you'd even be interested in seeing something like this. I actually want to pull apart the steel combi battery. That's that big battery backpack system. That's their new one because you guys have the same thing yes, right we do. over here. Yeah. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to pull them both apart side by each okay. and put them head to head. Do you think you guys would be up for that? Sounds like my sample bill's going up. <laughs> so if you guys want to see that, Put it in the comments down below and I'll see if I can talk Joe into doing something like that. So that is, we nerded out on batteries today. That's Joe from Shervon. Big thank you. Appreciate it thank you. so much. Yeah, appreciate it. God bless you guys. Go get them. We will see you guys on the next one. And next time I see Joe, we're going to be ripping apart a really big, dangerous battery. Let's do it. All right. well, that's, I love it when he says that. <laughs>